Forest Inventory Part 4, Plot, Layout, and Inventory System, brought to you by the University of California Agriculture and Natural Resources and the Forest Stewardship Program. This video is Part 4 of a four-part series designed to help forest landowners understand how to manage their forest lands and enable them to conduct an inventory of their own forest. Hi, I'm Susie Coker. I'm a forester for the University of California Cooperative Extension. In previous videos, we discussed how to use inventory tools to measure trees. In this video, you'll learn how to create sample plots and use these tools to gather meaningful data on those plots that can represent your entire forest. One of the things you're going to want to do when you inventory your forest is lay out a series of plots. Plots are areas that are equal and distributed across the landscape to represent your forest. We don't measure the entire forest, that would take too much time, so what we're doing is sampling. A common size of a plot is a tenth of an acre. Um, and so what I'm going to do is lay out this tape 37.2 feet uh, along from a plot center that makes it a radius. And then in our mind, we'll describe a tenth acre circular plot. First, I'm going to figure out um, which way north is uh, so that I will lay out my, my tape to the north. So I'm going to walk on that bearing uh, and lay out my tape 37.2 feet. Okay, so this kind of tape, you can uh, pull it together and then lay it on the ground. And now we can visualize the radius. And since I've started at the north, what I'm gonna do is go around the circle and identify which trees are in my plot. And I'm gonna measure the diameter and height of each one of those. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is use this radius of the plot and walk around to identify which trees are in and which trees are out. I'm gonna keep you, viewer, at the center of my plot and I'm gonna try and walk this same 37.2 around. Everything on my left is gonna be out and everything on my right is going to be in. So here's a nice, beautiful pine tree. That one's in. I'm gonna walk through the forest. This tree, this tree looks in to me. I think this one is in. This tree looks out. I'm going to walk. The tree that you see right now is obviously in. Here I am at this tree. I think this one is in. I think that one is out, but if I really wanted to make sure, I would just lay my tape down this direction as I get going. And then I'm gonna try and keep the same distance from you. This tree in between us is in. This tree, I'm going to say is in, in, I think these trees behind me are out, and this one is in. Okay, so I've just finished identifying all the trees in my 10th acre plot. I've taken the diameter of each one and the height of most of them. Uh, I can sample if there are too many. And I found that I had 10 trees in my 10th acre plot, three pines and seven firs. Now that's only one plot. Since I'm sampling, I wanna do a bunch more. Say I put in 10 plots across my landscape. That means I've done 10 one tenth acre plots. What I'm gonna do is average the trees that I found across that area. So let's say in some areas, some plots there were 12 trees, some plots there were 20, some plots there were only four. Let's just say that my average number of trees per plot was 10. I had a 10th of an acre plot and I got an average of 10. So in one acre, I have an average of 100 trees. And if that's my average across the landscape, I can say that those plots represent an inventory of 100 trees per acre. If I had the same proportion, let's say, 
of three pines and seven firs. Then I would say that 30% of the inventory was pine, 30 trees per acre, and 70% or 70 trees per acre was in fir. That's what I would understand as my outcome of my inventory. When installing plots to inventory trees, it's important to consider not only their location, but also the area you're covering with your plots. Installing enough plots to cover 1-2% to of your acreage is typically adequate for a basic inventory. To determine how much area you need covered by plots, multiply your total forest acreage by the decimal percent you want to sample. To find the number of tenth acre plots needed, multiply this acreage amount by 10. So hopefully we've given you enough information on how to use inventory tools, layout plots, and summarize information that you could potentially do an inventory of your own property so you can characterize the forest that's there. Or when you have one put in by a forester, you'll be better informed about how it was produced and what it means. So just remember, trees do continue to grow. So it is best practice to update these every 10 years or so, so you can capture the current information across your forest property. For other resources, check out our Forest Stewardship and California Family Forest web pages. Thanks for watching and happy measuring!